Today I'm reacting to Solar, Colors, requested by Max. Comment down below, give him some love for the request. And if you've got requests, head on over to the Patreon where you'll get early access to content like this, exclusive content only for the Patreon, and where you'll be able to drop your requests. If it's your first time watching, here's the format. The first part of the video, I just do a general reaction to the video. No pauses, just me watching, commenting, and enjoying the video. Part two of the video is me analyzing the details of the choreography and sharing my thoughts of what makes this choreography so good and fun to watch. So what qualifies me to run my mouth? I've been dancing for over 25 years, choreographing, directing, and teaching for about 20. Been dancing since I was 8, started competing in high school, co-founded a competitive dance company called Family Business back in 2004, toured with a professional hip-hop dance theater company called Antics, danced with artists such as Dal Wynn, John Lynn Vare, Casey and the Sunshine Band, and Cool and the Gang, performed for events such as the opening for Universal Studios Nintendo Land, Universal Studios City Walks Exhibition, Choreographer's Carnival, World of Dance, Hip Hop International, produced and sold out a show with my dance company, and I currently direct a dance entertainment company called Temper Tantrum. Make sure you guys go check out their channel because they do reactions too. And again, I'm not a K-pop stan, I'm simply a dancer that appreciates the level of difficulty that a lot of these artists are putting into their choreography. And with that, let's head on over to the video. Interesting starting position for this guy versus the actual one. And it's colors, so I love the on the nose. Okay, let's go voguing. Wait, is this old school voguing? It's like. Okay, let's go duck Oh, let's go tight, like with the pause. Okay, more femme style. Ooh, did that fan just fall apart? Let's go, let's go recovery! Yeah, what a different vibe! Hey, let's go! Nice charge up, let's go toe touch. Very interesting, is it right, right behind her and then he rolls off. Kind of an awkward transition out. Let's go duck walks. That, ah, uh, dip, nice. Okay, so we got, this is like all Vogue. I know Max told me about it, but I, for, I forgot that there's a lot of voguing elements here. Hey. Shouts out, I love that she's in, incorporating, let's go floor work, hell yeah into a dip Woo! let's go Love the. I also love like when with the the whole colors. It's not like that. It, it's actually there are colorful war, wardrobe here. Okay, let's go. Da, 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 da. Not, wow, they end in a dip. First thing that definitely stood out to me is let's actually take a, take a step back. I just do want. I do appreciate the the fact that she's dancing Vogue, uh, and then. I know very little of voguing history. I think because from Lauren taking workshops and IJ or AKA Arsenal, just a little bit from him. I, I do there, remember there was like an old school type voguing, which is a little bit more different from femme style. And I forgot there was like this one, what's the other one that's just hands? I forgot, but like there's another one that's like just kind of, it's almost like tutting, but very different. That's also a style. I think people from that community, please let me know. But this is just like me like remembering what I can from what I learned. But it was it was nice seeing the different, I would say the different styles of voguing. Because in the beginning was definitely, I'd say like more, I'd say, I, th I think it's more old school. And then going into femme style and then going into like, I forgot what the, the, the hands. And then obviously throwing out the dip. Just love that it was not just, here's a 
here's two eight counts of Oge or three eight counts or four eight counts. It was like, it was the whole time. So it was, I, again, I love it when artists uh, use street styles uh, or any of these, like these kind of styles into their own choreography. Though I do have to share and admit that I think the technique was a little lacking on her end, but I mean, nonetheless, she, she, she did it. It doesn't, it doesn't look like she has zero idea what she's doing, but it's like, I feel like just maybe another couple months of really diving into the style, she would nail it, nail it. Or maybe like, because there's a big difference of like, for example, I'm a B-boy, I'm a locker and I do choreo and I tried to do voguing, I'd be a choreo dancer or a b-boy trying to do voguing versus voguing voguing like a voguer a b-boy because you then that means you live that life you know the culture you know the the history foundation all that stuff it's very different when you know the essence of the dance versus just doing the dance and i do but i'm pretty sure that's something that she knows and appreciates which is why she's kind of incorporating it because now she's giving it a platform to share with other people and just all these other dancers but yeah that's it in terms of first impressions. It's your first time joining me? Hello, but um, the way I generally like to start with these analysis videos is starting position and uh, first five seconds. Starting position, I think, is the equal of, of what, for example, is what we're seeing here. It's the equivalent of a YouTube thumbnail uh, for uh, for like a stage. Two is the fir first five seconds answering the question, why should we continue watching? Uh, that question is especially important for someone who's never seen these they've seen this artist so and ideally i think these artists want to reach a much wider audience not just not just fans but you know increase their reach so in terms of this very awesome poses i did like this i don't know if like if he was like if he decided to change his mind because i don't know i feel like if i did this my left hip would cramp but this is still 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 nice strong and dramatic i just absolutely just love the shapes so a nice silhouette that oh god i missed my wake on tablet same thing nice silhouette nice silhouette nice silhouette everyone just nice beautiful poses with conviction they aren't like they aren't thinking it's weird like anything can be dope if you think it is the dopest move ever if you have conviction nice oh oops let's actually take it back let's go first five seconds once the song hits Okay. Okay, definitely starting off with more like ethereal like character. So three ways you can you can start uh, the routine. You can either start with a high energy move, uh, start with acting and rise it up, or uh, more ethereal kind of movement, and boom. So since she's not exactly acting, so it's more like, is she, I, I'd say she goes definitely right here and then starts rising it up. High energy move is like some, something extreme, like a backflip, a very fast formation change. This one is like, there's absolutely no dancing, but acting. But either way, all of which require confidence, con, condiments. Super strong, very strong, intense, engaged choreography. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Nice use of levels. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, holding this squat, wide squat position is very hard. So she kind of hit, is hitting it here, but eventually she kind of brings it back up. She's also, what are those wedges? I mean, either way, like, I can only imagine how difficult it is doing this, uh, doing this. Two, three, four, da, 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 da. Yeah. Very strong. This kind of this all this just reminds me of like Willy Ninja. Six, seven, eight, boom, boom. This beautiful pose. Look at that beautiful picturesque, and they and what they're doing too to to juxtapose that. It's a nice rhythmic boom, 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 and everything movement syncopated with that. Five, six, seven, eight. Pose. Great musicality on that. Sometimes musicality mean. It's not just how well you can ride the beat, it's how it's knowing when to stop as well. Okay, shouts out to them doing the duck walks as well. Six, seven, eight, one, two, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't really speak too much on like the voguing style again. I don't have the foundation on that, but it's just I can appreciate it in the context of choreography uh, and also a fellow freestyler. Uh, uh, oh, yep, that's where it broke down. Yeah, it, that's where it had the boom. Supposed to have the fan here, but it broke. Boom, and tossed it out like nothing happened. Because as you can see in the original choreography, they all had fans. Ba, 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 round, da, 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 da. Oh, there's so, she was also they're supposed to toss it anyways, but they just tossed it in a, at a different time. I did like this the this the use of the fan right above their head, very cool concept. It's a shame that it there was a, for this take there was a kind of a a prop breakdown again. This is one of the reasons I'm not a fan of dancing with props because it's like it, it there's it easily becomes another thing that it can be uh, a liability. So notice like they have the stronger dip. She's having to be more mindful of her own singing and execution. Though it makes me wonder like if, see how how much conviction they have in their arms. She's kind of, but she ha she's kind of holding back for the live version, but she is doing a lot more here. So again, the, such an interesting uh, thing like of how, perf how music artists have to be mindful of their singing and, and dancing. Like it's really resource management. Yeah, she definitely has a little bit more oomph in the practice video. I think a little bit more oomph is needed to be honest, but it's still like doing well. This, this, this toe touch right here. To be honest, felt very, feels like a very, I know what, I can see what they're going for with this black, that kind of musicality part. It's a nice, beautiful toe touch, very high. To this quick pose, to a dip, and then roll off. To be honest, felt very randomly placed. I honestly don't know what I would have done either. It just felt random for that. Let's go. Ah, that, that part just... Reminds me of like makes me feel like I'm watching the, some like when I watch uh, the these highlights on on Instagram. Da, da, da. Turn, turn, and dip. Ba. Except except like a lot more controlled and less and uh, less dramatic. Ba. But I'm pretty sure they had to like just to be on time and everything. Still, they're doing it. I cannot do that. This is I've I've there. Noelle, Laura, and Max tried teaching me. I'm like mm -mm. I have huge quads and need to work on that flexibility. Love that concept right here, the of of pulling up from the hair. Love her conviction. She shot up, but but notice that she was she was kind of low. Uh, she was kind of already up, which kind of takes away the the dramatic like pull from it, which is why like I I like some moves to have a little bit of anticipation or or an opposite say in the the music we're going to go up i instead of being a standing level to go up i like in, i would just give like to give a little anticipation then up it creates a nice contrast and you can see it here she's low and then up and see here he's same thing here standing drop up you see that it's a nice the contrast in that. Nice. Slightly off center, it looks like. She looks like she might be a little too far, too far in. Or the center group might be a little off. Let's go, beautiful. Da da da. Let's go with this beautiful pose. Da. The footwork feels a little awkward here. Ball change, ball change. Oh, so it is, it, it is a ball change, ball change. Okay. Ball change, ball change, and down. Okay, and into this very, into this reach. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Yep, nice. Shouts out to this floor work. Okay, so boom. Lean back onto the elbows. That's still a lot of like 
hip flexibility and strength that's needed. It's a lot of effort to look good, to look pretty, to look strong, to make it look effort effortless. So shouts out to them. Okay, to this crossover stomach. Uh, have out here. She's a little too much on the 45 versus uh, her is a little bit facing back so you can see this clear picture. But sweep, boom, to the back left 45. It's a dip. Dip, come up to an S sit. Boom. Ooh, I like that. And here, boom, switch uh, weight shift, direction shift, boom, boom, into a uh, duck walk. So, so appreciate to the floor work, man. Floor work is not easy. Da, 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 three, four, five, six, da, da. I do like the, this is a uh, fun moment to give to for the artist to really give sh uh, to give focus to I don't know this might be your choreography or either way it's a dancer so to just to showcase what this uh, dance style is about so good those patterns and pathways are insane da, 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 da. nice detail in the hands. <laughs> da, 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 da. Very small detail that I didn't catch earlier, but it was nice. That, that's a little bit more of the like simple, intricate, simtricate. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Shouts out to the the, the fellas that went, like everyone to a jumping jack. Da, da, da. Woo! Strong knees, dude. If you've ever tried this at home, you know it's hard. Okay. Boom. To a twist. To a. Pose, everyone come up. Five, six, da, da, da. Yeah, uh, not much more to add in terms of like the, the dance style. I can't, again, I can't really speak on the style itself because I, I don't have the foundation on it, but it is nice seeing the different styles of voguing in there. Uh, again, really nice to see an artist do this style. Um, 